Barack Obama wants to hit the campaign trail but Dems are scrambling to stop him. Never one to like being left out of the limelight, former President Barack Obama wants to hit the campaign trails yet again for Democrats running in the 2018 midterm elections. Except some of them have simply said, no thanks as it seems not all Democrats are exactly enthusiastic about Obama joining their team. Many Democrats that are running in states where President Donald Trump won by double digits in the 2016 presidential election would honestly rather have Obama just stay far, far away taking the taint of his own administration and that of the Clintons with him. Senator John Tester of Montana, Senator Heidi Heitkamp of North Dakota, and Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, all Democrats are not on Obama's list and they are grateful. They are not asking for help from the Democratic Party either. Tester himself spoke out stating, we're not going to use any surrogates. Surrogates are fine but we don't need them. The race is myself and Matt Rosendale and that's the way we want to keep it. Rosendale is Tester's GOP challenger. All three are considered red state Democrats who are frequently known to caucus with Republicans on key issues that impact blue-collar workers. Both Heitkamp and Manchin have shown themselves to be good friends to the current Trump administration often siding with the president even when it is unpopular with the party to do so. Both are reportedly planning to cast a yes vote for Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh amid the obstructionist antics of other Democrats as they attempt to make a circus of the nomination process. When Heitkamp was asked if she thought Obama might show up to assist her in her own re-election bid, she said, nope, no. He threatened to campaign against me once so I don't think he's coming out there. The Hill reports while the former president remains extremely popular with the Democratic base, especially among African American voters, Democrats fear his entrance into some battleground states could inadvertently rev up conservatives and pro-Trump voters. Trump wants nothing more than a foil. He knows he can activate the other side, said a source familiar with Obama's thinking. The former president is going to be involved this fall in a very Obama-esque, smart way. The source added. Democrats say that one way Obama can have a big impact on races is by urging infrequent voters to show up to the polls in November, something that will be a major theme of the former president's speech on Friday. He will echo his call to reject the rising strain of authoritarian politics and policies. And he will preview arguments he'll make this fall, specifically that Americans must not fall victim to our own apathy by refusing to do the most fundamental thing demanded of us as citizens, vote said Obama Communications Director Katie Hill. It seems Obama is carefully selecting just where to interject his specific brand of double-talking politicalized jargon. He does not want to position himself in a way that will work to President Trump's benefit, choosing instead to speak out against the rising strain of authoritarian politics and policies and redistricting. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.